Baldur's Gate 3 is a game with incredible depth, with characters you can really bond with. However, there are some that instead of forging a deep relationship with, they just need throwing in the bin. Today we're diving into the top characters you need to take down in Baldur's Gate 3, so sharpen your weapons because it's time to hit that kill button. Just a quick reminder, remember to like and subscribe for more like this. Up first we have the Dog Handler. Scratch is the lovable companion who can join your camp in Act 1 after his old owner is found dead. However, it's not until Act 3 that you run into this lovely human being, who reveals he's actually a courier dog and demands you return into his clearly abusive handler. But Scratch is a precious little boy and I will not have him harmed in any way. Dog person or not, you can't look into those beautiful eyes and tell me he doesn't deserve the uttermost love. That's why this absolute cretin of a human needs to meet their end. Turns out this is for the best anyway, so her much nicer assistant can take over the dog's well-being. Win-win. In number two, we have Investigator Valeria. Useless, uncaring, annoying. These are just some of the words I would use to describe everyone's favourite drunken holyphant. Despite being responsible for tracking down the culprit for a string of murders, Valeria would much rather enjoy the comforts of a good drink in Shara's caress. After all, what's a few innocent lives anyway, right? Unfortunately for our favourite flying officer, Valeria gets themselves into a bit of hot water and is kidnapped by the cult of Baal, set to be sacrificed in the murder tribunal. Now you can save them, adding them to your ally list, but if you decide to make them pay for their sins, you get to be the unholy assassin you've always dreamed of. Plus, you get rid of a rather annoying character. Next up we have head of the Boulders Gate Gazette, Edward Needle. This individual is a pompous asshole who has no idea who he's dealing with. So when he threatens to write a smear campaign against you and throws you out the building, what other choice do you have but to annihilate him? Of course, you can follow the quest line, stop the presses, which is how the game wants you to play, or you can convince the talking printer to produce a better story, or you can burn the whole place to the ground. Swish. Wolverine fucking bongle. This absolute walnut of a person not only treats you like dirt when you're trying to help them, but there's also the small matter of him being a huge racist. The fucking Gondians! Oh, and he's also mean to Barkus. Jebend. Balthazar. This guy. This guy is one of my most hated characters. Not only is he a complete ass to you when you're doing him a favour, I might add, but he's also one of the toughest boss fights in the game when you start playing. Seriously, it took me ages to try and beat this guy on my first go. The key is to think outside the box and the first chance I got I instantly polymorphed him into a sheep and sent him packing off the cliff, back to hell where he belongs. However, that then leads to the next one on my list, which you're probably not going to agree with, Aelin. And the only reason she's on this list is because despite the fact that, yes, we save everyone and it's the right thing to do by freeing her and despite her being a god, she's absolutely pathetic in a fight. Come on, you're a deity and you can't even make your way past a few mind flayers or wizards. Ugh, useless. Up next we have Laroican, ignoring the fact that this man is clearly insane and wants to entrap a god for his own selfish needs. He's also a real meanie pants and will happily sacrifice anyone and everyone to achieve his goals, namely the Night Song. This man is such a tool that even if you do go the full evil route, he will then proceed to talk down and throw you out because you don't have permission to speak apparently. What a charmer. I bet he's fun at parties. Then we have Oscar Feverus. This guy is the worst. An artist that gets himself caught by the Zentrum, Oscar delights in telling you that if you purchase him, a renowned painter, his partner will help pay you handsomely. He then has to cheat to ask for even more money once you've already bought him. What Oscar doesn't share with you, however, in that doing this then triggers a series of events revealing that his recent wife, Lady Janeth, has now got to deal with a possessed husband and a house full of spooky ghosts. How did this happen, you ask? Well, Oscar, in his infinite wisdom, tried to bring back an old flame since he feels responsible for her death. You can persuade the ghost to leave or drag Oscar back to the afterlife with her. However, in this case, it's best to either leave him imprisoned or, better yet, murder him so nobody else has to deal with his insufferable nonsense. If you go this route, Lady Janeth holds a delightful art show, so if you ask me, it's the better option for everyone. And then last on this list, we have the Emperor. Posing as your friend and ally at the beginning, the Emperor gives you half-truths to string you along with what he wants you to do. 
He's only truthful when he's forced to, and despite the fact he pretends that he wants to get rid of the parasite, then changes his tune later, he also wants you to become a lithid. Oh, and he also killed his friend Anso because he wanted to remain a big tentacle boy. On top of all of this, he acts as a master manipulator, summoning you to the realm while being shirtless and tries it on with you. Don't pretend you haven't got that achievement, by the way. I know. Slimy by nature and slimy by personality, I just don't trust this guy. Never have, so I don't feel like there's much loss by disposing of him along the way. Orpheus and Karlak seem pretty happy to become mind players, so nothing lost here. So that's my list of characters that need slapping with a wet fish, or better yet, disposing of. What do you think of the list? Did I miss anybody off? Who would you add to it? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe to help the channel grow, and I'll see you next time. Bye!